So when you create a lot of content, especially around developer tooling, what comes often up is like showing you the directory structure because people want to know where the files are. Now, obviously what you can do is just take screenshots, right? So for instance, if you want to show here the current user structure, you would go ahead and probably show a bit more context here. Just copy that, go to your article, paste it in, maybe obviously like make it a bit smaller, customize it further. But this is a very rigid approach because what if I want to remove the config files here because they're not relevant in a specific context of what I'm writing about. So it's hard to do. And ASCII representation actually would be much nicer. First of all, it's, it's searchable and I can easily customize it. Something like this, for example, where I have a textual representation, I can easily go in and further customize it. Let's say I don't want to have these type of folders, I just remove them. But obviously creating those by hand can be very tedious, especially if you have the directory structure already. So as a developer, the first thought obviously is I should be able to automate that. Because if I have the directory structure already, I can literally just log it out, run through it and recursively create a tree output. I'm often even too fast because the first instinct is create a new directory, project, and let's go. Now, after asking ChatGPT about the cool NPM package name, I was actually, let me go and check whether that package doesn't even exist already. And it turns out it does. And so this is a package directory tree ASCII, which seems to do exactly what I wanted. And so if I'm here in my current project structure, I can just invoke it via this command. And then obviously there's options for excluding folders because yeah, we don't want to have the structure of the node modules folder and probably also not of the git one. But that's it, you just hit enter and what you get is a beautifully rendered tree output. You can just copy and paste it, customize it and get going. And this is exactly what I wanted. Potentially I could probably wrap it into a script kit, but that's really for another video.